Hey everyone, welcome to Software Engineer 101. Today I'm going to cover installing Microsoft's VS Code IDE and running a basic Hello World application. So open your web browser and go to the following website, code.visualstudio.com forward slash download. I'm installing on a Windows computer, so I'll be clicking on Windows. You'll see down here is downloading an executable. Once that is complete, go ahead and run it. Accept the agreement, click next. Choose the location you want VS Code to be installed on your computer. Click next. And then final one, click install. Now this may take a second, um, so just be patient. I'll be back here in a minute once this is complete. All right, once VS Code launches, this is what it looks like. It looks a little different than Visual Studio. Um, so up here on the top left, you're gonna see your file explorer. This is where all your classes will exist or any other subfolders. Um, right now, if you do not see the terminal screen down here, click on terminal, new terminal. This is our current file location that it's looking at. Um, create a folder somewhere on your computer. And once you have that created, click on open folder and go point at that folder. I just named mine underscore software engineer 101 underscore code. I'm going to click select and you should see your terminal update to the new file location. Once we have that, we are going to install the C sharp extension for VS code. So I'm gonna type C sharp up here and here we go. This one right here. This publisher is verified ownership by Microsoft. Click install on this. Might take a minute for this to install. Once the C Sharp extension is finished installing, we're gonna go back to our file explorer and down to our terminal and type in the following. .NET new console dash dash framework net 7.0. Hit enter. And this will create a C Sharp project in your folder that you had selected. Now that this is built, we can come over here and click on Program CS. CS is the file format, file extension for C Sharp files. So here you see two lines of code. This one's technically just a comment that Microsoft put in. Then on line two here, we have a console right line, hello world. Now down here in the terminal to run this, we would type in .NET run. And we should see Hello World display. There we go. I guess it just took a second. First time I've ran on this. So just for playing around testing, anything between the double quotes you can change, it's just a string. So let's do software engineer 101. I'm gonna come down here. I'm just gonna hit the up arrow because it'll run, it'll auto populate your most recent command instead of retyping it. And I'm gonna just hit enter. There we go. 
Oops. You can see up here the white dot on the file. I forgot to save, so I'm gonna do Control S and then up arrow again down here on the terminal and rerun. So now we should see Software Engineer 101. There we go. Um, pretty straightforward. All we did was install VS Code from Microsoft's website and download the C Sharp app extension and run a basic Hello World print statement. So if you enjoyed this and thought it was straightforward, please subscribe and like this video. Thank you.